This cricket field looks flat, right? You'd expect it to be, it's a cricket pitch. Well, it's not. And getting that wrong could actually be a costly mistake. What your eyes see and what's actually there are often two very different things. And that's why topographical surveys exist, to reveal the hidden details of the land. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how these surveys work, why they matter, and how they prevent serious problems down the line. Most people assume land is level or stable just by looking, but even tiny variations of just a few centimetres can actually make a massive difference in design, drainage and construction, and it can even lead to legal disputes. Once we were asked to survey a site where the client thought the ground looked fine, but when we were brought in we found a 40 centimetre level change. Finding this before the design stage prevented major drainage issues that would have led to a five-figure bill if it wasn't noticed. Property developers, architects, landscapers, engineers, town planners, estate agents and even homeowners all need this topographical data to plan accordingly, get planning permission and avoiding, avoiding nasty surprises when constructing. In short, topographical surveys are the foundation for every successful development project. So how do we actually create topographical maps? Let me walk you through the three-step process. Step one, preparation and planning. Before we even set foot on the site, we research the existing plans, ordnance survey and land registry maps, and we plan out the control points. It's vital to understand exactly what needs to be captured by speaking to the clients to find out exactly what is important to the project. Once we understand the brief, we also need to confirm what accuracies and tolerances are, are needed. Here in the UK, surveyors should adhere to the RICS guidelines. To help our clients understand the process, we've put together a, a guide to level of detail, and it covers topographical surveys in some depth. You can download it for free, and I'll put a link down in the uh, description and in the comments. Now, you might be wondering, how do surveyors gather all this data? No, we surveyors don't just walk around with ropes, poles, sticks and chains like they did in the, in the past. You can learn more about the history of surveying in this video that we've created. And again, I'll put the link up here. Nowadays, we work with some of the coolest tech in the industry. We use advanced tools, including robotic total stations, GPS systems and drones, laser scanners. Each tool serves a specific purpose total stations. These are the high precision robotic instruments that measure angles and distances on site with absolute pinpoint accuracy. The trusty total station is the godfather of modern surveying and it's critical on almost every project. GPS units. Now GPS receivers help us locate points accurately in the real world using military grade satellite networks. Think Google Maps but much much higher accuracy. For hard to reach areas or detailed overhead views, drones capture aerial data quickly and efficiently. These tools allow us to create an incredibly accurate digital representation of the land, no matter how complex or challenging the site is. So what do you actually get at the end of a topographical survey? The raw data gets taken back to the office and transformed into an accurate topographical map. This map can be delivered in two-dimensional, three-dimensional format, or even printed onto paper. It just depends on the project's needs. 2D drawings are for more straightforward projects like boundary mapping or simple site plans. 3D models, these provide interactive, fully detailed representations of the site, are perfect for more complex designs. Less frequent in today's digital world, but some clients still like to have a physical paper copy of the map. And I get it, there's something tangible about having the map in your hand as you walk around your site. From simple 2D maps to detailed 3D models, topographical surveys empower architects, engineers and homeowners to design with confidence. Ultimately, a topographical survey is more than just a map. It's the foundation for a project's success, knowing that you have the most accurate and reliable data possible. Does this make sense so far? Let us know in the comments if you've got questions about what a topo survey covers. So what does a topographical survey actually include? 
Let's start with ground levels and terrain. One of the most critical aspects of a topographical survey is capturing the site's level changes. Whether it's a gentle slope or a more sharper incline or even a perfectly flat plot, understanding these details are essential for proper drainage, structural stability and overall site-wide design. For example, if the land has a steep incline, your design might need to incorporate some retaining walls or tiered foundations. By identifying these features early, you can avoid costly adjustments uh, later on down in the project. Next, we document all the natural features on the site. This includes trees, hedges, rivers, streams, ponds, ditches, and every, any other natural features that might impact your design or your construction plans. For instance, mature trees might need to be preserved for planning purposes, or a stream might need additional drainage considerations. Knowing this in advance saves you from costly rework or nasty surprises during the planning approval process. And then we move on to man-made features like uh, buildings, roads, hard standing areas, pavements, walls and fences. Anything that a man has made that impacts the site. We also capture above ground drainage utilities like telegraph poles, manhole covers and drainage gullies. But if you want to know what's buried underground like gas, water, electrics and, and the like, you'll need an underground utility survey and we'll cover that in a future video so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And here's something many overlook, we can also measure features beyond your site such as adjacent roads and neighbouring properties. Capturing details like your neighbour's roof, ridge and eave heights helps ensure that your design will comply with planning regulations and takes into consideration potential constraints of the site from nearby properties. Together, these five categories, ground levels, natural and man-made features, utilities and surrounding context, combine together to create a detailed picture, essentially a map of your site. This data empowers architects, engineers and planners to design confidently with all of the necessary information they need at their fingertips. It's all about avoiding nasty surprises and unexpected costs. Land isn't as simple as it looks, but with the right survey you can see what's really there and plan with confidence. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more great content. Finally, if you have a project coming up or any questions about a topo survey, drop it in the comments, we'd love to help. Thanks for watching and see you next time.